Hey you guys and welcome to another video. So today po is I'm going to share to you some tips, some study tips that you can use sa law school. If you're interested to knowing some of my tips, then please keep on watching. By the way, I'm Jeremiah and I upload law school and law student related vlogs. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell sa tabi ng subscribe. Or you can just simply click that click here na circle dyan sa my corner. So let's get to the video. Okay guys, so hi nga po and welcome to another video. So it's been like 2 weeks or 3 weeks na, na hindi ako nakagawa ng videos. But today po is we'll be discussing po the tips that I can give you if you will be a law student. If you are in law school. So you can siguro use some of these tips para po to improve your study habit. Some of this I tried and siguro not all are effective for me but siguro they can be effective to you. So yun. And later po siguro sa may end part ng video I'm going to share to you kung anong ginagamit ko po na, na technique pag nagsistudy ako sa law school. So, let's start. Okay, the first thing po that I'm going to discuss is recording. Voice recording. So, you can record your voice. You can just record everything that you want to study. You can listen that one later on. I tried this one before. Though, I find it helpful before, but I don't think it is helpful for me right now because yung focus ko is iba na. Ano bang magandang bagay tungkol sa recording ng voice? If you're going to record your readings po, then you can do multitasking. Especially if you're a working na law student. You can just do your job, do your work, so work nyo while listening to your lessons while listening to those things that you want to study so you can do multitasking if you'll be recording your lessons I think it should be convenient for those of you who are working and for those of you who want to do a lot of things for such a short time and also if you're going to record your lessons then di ba you experience if you're going to listen to like a song your favorite song if you're going to keep it on a repeat or a replay eventually you'll be memorizing the song so the tendency then if you're going to listen to your lesson, then you're going to play that one on a replay, then there's a greater tendency na mas madali mong ma-absorb yung, yung lesson, mas ma-improve yung memory mo. Mas ma-improve yung retain ng lesson if you're going to keep it on a replay or a repeat. Those are the, the pros of recording your lesson. Kaya lang po, of course, there are pros and cons. Nga po, diba? So, ang negative side naman niya is number one, uh, some of like mga students or learners are not actually auditory. Hindi sila naka-absorb masyado pag they're going to listen to those things lang. Siguro some are diba visual learners parang ganun so they cannot absorb more if they're going to listen that one using voice memo if you're not an auditory na learner so I think this one is not for you also some of the people who will listen to like person talking diba I don't know if you can relate to this one but if you're going to listen to a person talking then eventually you will fall asleep if you can agree to this one then please say you can relate pakicomment dyan sa baba because before po kasi when I was like younger if I want to fall asleep anytime of the day I will just listen to someone talking. I have like I can go to YouTube and play like discussions sa YouTube and nag-headset ako. Tapos eventually nakakatulog ako pag may mga discussions. Di ba sa klase? Pag may nagdi-discuss sa harap if you're a teacher, pag nagdi-discuss sila sa harap then you will feel like gusto nyo matulog pag may nagsasalita. So this is one of the negative sides of listening to your lesson because eventually you will fall asleep. You will feel like going to sleep and you will lose the, the chance of studying. Tapos some naman of the people find it very annoying to listen to their own voice. Diba? I've heard some people, I have some friends who I say, uy, i-record mo yung mga lessons mo if you want para maka-multitask ka or ano. But they will say na once they're going to listen to their own voice, they'll find it annoying. Instead of focusing on the lesson, they'll be focusing on their own voice and they will say, uy, ang pangit ng boses ko. So, nawawala yung essence ng recording. If you're that person, then I don't think this one is also applicable to you. So, again, recording po of your lesson is only applicable for those people who are auditory learners. Next, the next tip po na I can share to you is video. You can record yourself sa videos po or sa phone and you can just watch it. You can just review it later. So, ano bang magandang side ng recording yourself? Number one po is, it feels like you're just listening or you're listening to a discussion. It's just that ikaw yung nasa video and ikaw yung nidi-discuss. So, you're just watching a person discussing the lesson and siguro eventually you will you can absorb the lesson just by watching the video. This one is also applicable for those people who want to see a person discussing the topic. So if you're that person, then this was very applicable to you. I tried this one also personally. I recorded myself, tapos nag-discuss ako ng mga topics, ng provisions and everything. So nasabi ko naman, ayos, ayos naman pala. Kaya lang, here are the negative sides. Instead of focusing on the discussion itself, the topics na diniscuss mo rin sa video is you'll be focusing on yourself. You'll be focusing on your hair, your face, how you look like, how you utter the word, or your gestures po. You'll be focusing on those small details 
details instead of focusing on the lesson. So nararasan ko din yan before as I was like uh, recording myself, discussing about something. If I'm going to explain something, tapos I have these gestures uh, para ma magbigay na emphasis. So doon ako na-focus. So nawawala yung focus ko sa lesson. Then my focus now is sa self ko. Minsan nadidistract ako sa tura ko, sa suot ko, sa projection ko sa videos, parang ganun. So nawawala yung focus, nawawala yung essence ng lessons. So if you're that person, then yeah, I think this is not for you. Siguro sa next ko na mga tips is ang yung applicable for you. Yun po yung video recording yourself. Next po is, this is more on the videos pa rin, but videos on YouTube or anywhere na may video platform. Personally, I use this technique po sa trabaho because there are times that I'm going to go to YouTube and look for like topics that I'm going to discuss to my class the following day. So if there are some things that are not clear for me sa books na binabasa ko, sa mga manuals namin sa school, then I will just go to YouTube and look for some discussions. So we can use this one also sa law school. There are a lot of videos there that are going to discuss about some topics na yun din yung topic topic natin sa law school. So you can use this one. Ano bang magandang makuha natin pag ganito na technique? So number one is the discussion is made by an SME or subject matter expert. So they know the topic very well and they have put their discussion sa YouTube and now in the comfort of our house and our houses o di kaya sa, sa work, we can just view the discussions, their discussions tapos siguro we can learn eventually from their discussion. Isa pa na ano is it's like you'll be like watching a discussion an actual discussion from a person who knows the topic. Para rin tayo nasa school nasa klase but yun na nga lang is nasa YouTube yung discussion niya okay so there will be like an explanation other than the explanation made by your instructors we will be getting like some insight some annotations some commentary from other people po so yun yung isa sa magandang dahilan kung bakit maganda to na technique sa so watching on YouTube and also if you're going to watch sa YouTube then also you can find there some comments sa mga, mga people so there are also suggestions there or they have their answers so we can also find like insights from other people who watch the the same video. This would be a good technique po for you to study sa law school. Tapos, I think the last good thing about this one, this technique is, if you find it unclear at first time, at first watch, then you can just rewatch the video. You can just review the video anytime, di ba? So, yun yung maganda dun. Na pag hindi mo na naintindihan, i-replay mo lang yung video until eventually makuha mo na yung topic. Kaya lang po, we have also have the negative side of this technique. Number one, if you tried watching YouTube ba, of course you tried watching YouTube because watch you're watching this video. But the tendency po is, may mga suggested videos sa sigilid and you'll be tempted to click on those videos na suggested and there are times also na you want to look for another videos or something will pop up during watching sa YouTube so yun yung isa sa mga negative sides of watching video discussion po sa YouTube you will also feel like sleepy if you experience this one watching YouTube tapos you'll feel sleepy that's one of the negative sides in using YouTube sa pagsasali also since you think na ah, nasa YouTube naman yan I can just watch that later or some other time you'll be complacent so instead of having the origin of watching the video for your learning is she will say ah sige mamaya na lang mamaya na lang siguro I have time naman mamaya tapos mamaya makalimutan mo siya ma-view ayun tapos until eventually hindi mo talaga siya makuha hindi ka na makapag-study Next po na tip is, this one is very traditional. This one is read and memorize. Of course, by reading, I mean the books or any other review materials that you have. So, yes, I also do this one, read and memorize. So, what are the pros of having this technique? Some people po, they love the smell of the books. Diba? I don't know if you're this person, but most of my classmates, they will say, ah, gusto ko talaga magbasa ng book because ang sarap ng amoy ng libro. Sabi ko, ha? Paano yun? E, tapos, inamoy ko parang wala namang special. There's nothing special with the smell of the book. But according to them, it gives them different feeling. Pag ganun nila sa book, pag scan nila sa pages, they will smell the amoy of the book. Diba? Parang they find it very amusing and they love it. So, it's reading and memorizing the book is an effective way for them to study. Also, the good thing about this one is, if you're going to base that one on the book, then the learnings that you're going to get are very technical. It's not opinionated. Diba? Because no other person is discussing it to you, but every learning that you're going to obtain directly from the book. So, walang opinion from other people aside from the book. Kung anong sa book, yun talaga makukuha mo. Kaya lang po, this one also, may mga negative sides. Number one po dyan is if you're going to use a book, I know you experience this one. Pag nakita mo na yung pages na kailangan mo makuha, sabihin mo, ay, grabe, ang dami pa. Instead of focusing on the content sa binabasa mo, you'll be focusing on the pages na kailangan mo pang mabasa. Diba? I don't know if you experience this one, but I think so. Kasi pag binasa mo, especially ha, if you're in law school na, you'll be reading like 20 pages, 30 pages na, mga, na book. Tapos, pag nakita mo na yung kailangan mo pang basahin, yung 
hindi mo pa nababasa, he will say, ay grabe, ang, ang haba pa, ang dami ko pang babasahin. The tendency is, since you are now focused on the pages, then parang hindi mo na ma-absorb yung mga kailangan mo ma-absorb. Because you're just saying, ah, okay, basa, basa, basa. No more quality. You'll be focusing now on the quantity. Yun yung isang bad side sa uh, using the book. Pag may diferensya na mata mo, or di kaya medyo masakit na sa mata mo, reading like books with a font na hindi maganda sa mata, parang you'll find it uh, masakit sa mata. And it will be inconvenient for you to read using the book. Diba? Or any, or iPad, or anything na reading material. You'll find it difficult because masakit na sa mata. Parang ganun. And also, yung iba, nawawala yung focus because they find it na parang magandang chance para matulog. Kasi diba, yung mata, nagbabasa ka using your eyes, tapos eventually you will feel tired, tapos you want to go to sleep. Next po, this is my second to the last na, na topic for today, is writing on a yellow pad. I'm not sure if you heard about this technique, but one of the honorees that we had during the honoring of new lawyers, yung mga bagong pasa sa bar, nag-share sila ng techniques, and one of those na passers said na the very effective technique that he used and was applicable to him was writing everything on a yellow pad. So once he's going to read somewhere sa book, tapos sinusulat niya yun sa yellow pad. I'm not really sure kung ano daw magic na meron sa yellow pad because every time he's going to read on what he has written sa yellow pad is mas mabilis niyang ma-absorb. I'm not sure if you've tried this one before sa prelo nyo or sa college but it's effective daw. I haven't tried this one personally. Parang hindi ako, parang I don't know. Sabi niya, mas malakas yung retention power niya pag nasa yellow pad niya sinusulat yung mga kailangan niyang basahin. And also, writing daw the things that you want to study on a yellow pad is hitting a lot of birds with one stone. Bakit? Number one, your handwriting will be practiced as well. Because again, sa, sa bar, so far, it's a written na exam. So you'll be using your hands and handwriting is a factor also to pass. Napapractice niya daw yung handwriting niya if he's going to write everything on a yellow pad. And also at the same time he'll be reading. Pag read niya sa book tapos isusulat niya he's reading and writing at the same time. ba? So mas maraming factor na kapag add sa retention ng memory. Yun yung sinabi niya during yung kanyang testimonial. So I'm not sure if I'm going to try this one because I haven't tried this one but if you guys if you want to try this one then why not? ba? If this one will be effective to you then sige. But I haven't tried this one personally because of these reasons. Number one, reading and writing at the same time para sa akin is time consuming. Yun ang nasabi ko sa sa other videos ko na I find it hard to look for time to, to study. Tapos ngayon, kailangan ko pang isulat sa yellow paper tapos read after. Parang I don't have the luxury of that time para gawin yun. Na read, tapos write, tapos read again. So wala akong oras para ganyan. I find this one very time consuming and if you guys, if you find this one effective, then why not? ba? So yun guys, nasa nyo naman yan kung, kung kaya nyo pa if you have time, then do it. Okay? So last po is, this is my personal technique na ginagamit. Since I started sa law school, parang nakita ko na dito talaga ako parang mas hiyang. Parang mas effective ito na technique for me. So I'm not sure if this one is also applicable to you because again, we are different learners, different types of learners, di ba? So yun nga, yung ginagamit ko ngayon is read while listening. Reading and listening at the same time. What I do is, I read sa book o di kaya sa any, any review material tapos I highlight them, yung mga important points. While reading, then to get my focus on what I read, then I I listen to something. Do you want to know what I'm listening to? Then I'm going to link that one below. Have you heard about the Pomodoro technique? That's what I use po for studying. I use Pomodoro technique. Yung Pomodoro technique po is parang it's using binaural. I'm not sure if it's it's the exact term, but I think it's using binaural bits. Yung parang parang siyang sa bees na parang zzz, parang ganon. So if you want to try that one, and I tell you this one is very effective to me. Kasi pag narinig ko na yon, parang ang focus ko na is na pupunta sa book or sa reading material na binabasa ko. Kahit na nababasa ko like advanced reading or di kaya for back reading or pag nag-memorize ako ng kahit ano na provision sa ano o may kailangan ako memorize then I use that Pomodoro technique to have my focus set on what I do yun po so if you're interested to use that one then I'm going to give a link sa baba sa my description box and just click that link and you may listen to that one and yes guys it's very effective so yun lang guys yung mga study techniques that I can share to you na nagawa ko na and sa mga hindi ko pa nagawa but I learned from other people at tapos nga sinay ko ngayon sa inyo. So, if you find this one interesting po, then thank you and I really want to be of good help to everybody, especially for those who are interested to go to law school. So, again, if may mga tanong po kayo about this video, if you, if you have questions about me or sa law school, then please leave that one below. Pakicomment dyan sa baba. And if you have any reactions to this video, if, if 
I said something wrong. So please let me know and write that one below. Also, if you have suggestions for my next videos, again, let me know po. Pakiwrite po yan sa baba and siguro I can do that to my future videos. I want to encourage you to follow me on my other social uh, social accounts like my Twitter, my Facebook, uh, my Instagram, and my other YouTube na channel. Tapos also sa Gmail if you want to give me a DM or uh, an email. And again, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell sa tabi ng subscribe. Or you can just simply click the click here na button dyan sa my corner. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.